kids, it's time for the Dr. Magic Show. And now, let's join Dr. New Magic in the playroom of the Magic Mansion. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Dr. Magic Show. I'm Dr. Magic, and this is my co-star, Victoria. Hey, Dr. Magic. Hi, Victoria. Today's Dr. Magic Show is all about hobbies, and hobbies are fun things that we do in our spare time. Victoria, do you have a hobby? Yes, I do. It's collecting globes, and this is my favorite one. I got it from Florida, as you see. Uh-huh. It says Florida. Florida. And... I got it for a vacation. Why it's my favorite is because it has two sides for it, uh-huh. and that's why it's my favorite. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, uh, globe collecting. That can be a yep. hobby. Uh, here's another hobby, uh, videography. Uh, and what this is, is you use a camera like this to take motion picture mm-hmm. footage of uh, people moving. And a lot of times, uh, people that get into this make their own little home movies. You know, they yep. don't just take random pictures, they actually make home movies. Uh, these are art supplies. These are paints. Yeah. And you use paints on canvas or wood or whatever, paper. Uh, and you can paint a painting like this. This is a picture of a fireplace. Yep. Okay. And... Uh, this is drawing. So it's, a, it's a sketch diary. My sister Paige did this. Paige did this, yes. Drew these mm-hmm. pictures. Look at that. It's a lot of fun. Oh, I'm sure she'll eventually fill this thing yeah. up because she likes to do that as a hobby. Hey, right now I'm going to do what I do in the Dr. Magic Show. What's that? Magic. That's right. That's my thing. Uh, let me show you here. I want you to hang on to that little uh, black handkerchief. I know that's an odd color for a handkerchief, but we're yeah. going to do a magic trick with it. Uh, this is a little bag. Notice it has... Um, it's a black bag with white polka dots here, mm-hmm. and it's white on this side with black polka dots. The bag's empty. You need to know that. We start out with an empty bag. I'm going to turn it inside out and show you that it's empty. Okay. And I'm going to do some magic. I'm going to take that black handkerchief from you. In fact, I'll tell you what you can do. You can go ahead and put the handkerchief in the bag. Okay, and I'm going to do some magic. I'm going to do this. I'm going to snap my fingers, and what's going to happen is the black handkerchief is going to have polka dots on it. It doesn't have polka dots. Well, it does, but they're black polka dots and a black handkerchief. That's why you can't see them. <laughs> I know, you think I'm being yeah. silly, huh? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll do the real magic, uh, and I'll make polka dots appear that you can see. Would you say the magic words? Dr. Magic. Those are my magic words. And what that does is that makes uh, white polka dots on a black handkerchief so you can see them. Wait, wait, wait a second. Hold on. These are like spots, you know? Yeah. There's a spot missing. Yeah, there's a spot. Wait, hold on. Oh, here it is. There's a spot that's missing. Spotty the dog. See, that's the spot that's missing. (laughs) Hey, right now, we're going to check in with somebody who can really draw. He's a professional. This is Mike Cartel. You know, there are a lot of different kinds of hobbies. Some people like to work with wood. Some people like to paint. Some people, I don't know, they have all kinds of hobbies. I'm going to show you one that uh, a long time ago was very, very popular, still pretty popular, stamp collecting. And I'm going to show you how to draw a stamp. Let's draw together. Let's get some of these off the, the screen. There we go. Now, we're going to draw kind of a rectangle like that. And we're going to put some of these. See that? It's just like drawing waves in the water. Just like that. And you do it on all four sides. And now let's give it a value. Maybe we'll call this, maybe this is a $1 stamp. Okay, we'll put that in all four corners. And now we need a picture inside. Now we could put another border if we wanted, like this. And then we could draw inside. Let's see. Hmm, maybe somebody who could one day become famous. Maybe you, right? 
Well, there are a lot of you out there, and I don't know quite how you look, but I'm just going to draw somebody right here. A kid. And maybe this is when you become famous. And you have your own stamp. Put that there. Maybe we can add a little bit of color. Like that. And put some color right here. Good. The ears too. And maybe some nice dark hair. And let's just draw that in. Like that. Nice hair. And you could put your name on there as well if you like. Or you could add other information too, like when you were born, things like that. And then we could put some background. Give it a nice color for the background. Like that. And a little shading here for that deckled edge. And there is our stamp. I hope your stamp turned out good too. Personal foul? Inactive activities on a glorious day. Huh? Let's get out there and play! Sweet. Ooh, freeze! When do I get to be in? Uh-oh. Hey, Reggie! Frozen people can't talk! P-L-A! An hour a day! I'm it. There are lots of great play ideas online, but don't stay too long. Pants, pants. I am folding the pants. The pants are long. <laughs> Do they go on my head? Do they? Do the pants go on my head? <laughs> no. They go on Everyday head. moments can become teaching moments because learning starts long before school does. Give your child the start they need at bornlearning.org. Well, did you enjoy watching Mike Artell draw as much as we did? I hope so. Well, right now, we're going to continue looking at hobbies on today's Dr. Magic Show. And uh, Victoria, I have two more hobbies I'm going to discuss right here. Uh, this is comic book collecting. You see all these comic books here? Those are really old. <laughs> yeah, they are. These three comic books right here are from the 1970s. Okay. These two comic books here from the 1960s. Look, notice only 15 cents in the 60s. <laughs> and these are so old. They're from the 1950s. That's why they look the oldest, because they are the oldest. Now, when I was a boy, I used to just read comic books. But a lot of people collect them. They don't just read them. They keep them after they read them. And uh, they collect them. And that's another hobby, comic book collecting. Now, yet another hobby you might want to consider is collecting money. Now, I say money instead of coin collecting because, you see, you can collect coins like these coins here. Or you can also collect paper money. You see this $2 bill? Mm -hmm. They're in circulation, but you just don't see them too much. And a lot of people collect the $2 bills because they seem kind of odd compared to ones and fives. So you can collect money or you can collect comic books. Collecting things in general is just a wonderful hobby. Hey, right now we're going to show you some fun we had. I think you remember this, mm -hmm. this little adventure. Take a look. Here's today's magical mystery picture. What is it? No, it's not a bird. I'll tell you that. I'll give you that hint. This is a kite. 
It's a big kite and it's a pretty kite. And kites are hobbies for a lot of people. Today's show is all about hobbies. Well, a lot of people make kites and fly kites as a hobby. I mean, that's like one of their favorite things to do. Some kids will rush home after school and go fly their kite. And uh, the people that are really into it as a hobby don't just use store-bought kites. They'll make their own kites from scratch. Um, there's big, big kites. Like some kites are big as me or bigger, and some are really little. Some are kind of plain, and a lot of them, the people that do this as a hobby, like to decorate their kites. Like the person who made this kite made it look sort of like a colorful bird. And people do all kinds of things with kites. There's trick kites that are designed to do things like loop-de-loops and other little stunts in the air. And some people even fight kites. They'll do little kite battles where they try to knock the other guy's kite out of the air, that kind of thing. It's quite a hobby. If you go to a hobby shop, I guarantee you they've got a little kite section and they sell kites and kite string and all that kind of stuff. Well, did you guess today's magical mystery picture? It's not a bird, it's a kite. And flying kites is quite a hobby for many people. Welcome back to the Dr. Magic Show and our look at hobbies on today's show. Uh, right now I'm going to talk about a hobby that's a hobby of mine. It's sports card collecting. Uh, right here I'm going to show you some uh, baseball cards that I have. But um, you can get cards and collect them from all of the major sports and some of the minor sports. I know there's football cards. There's also basketball cards besides just baseball cards. Yeah. On the front of the card it shows the player. And on the back, it has statistics about the player in whatever sport the player plays. And as you can see, I have a lot of them. <laughs> I have a few thousand of these. And this is a hobby of your sister's, huh? Yeah. Her name is Brandy because it says Brandy Scrapbook. <laughs> right. It's, it's a hobby called scrapbooking. Yeah. Like, if you want to make it like look really cute and cool, you uh -huh. can put like, where you went to and like what it's called and you can put like all the and if like it was like baby like how this is you uh. can put like all the things that a baby wants but yeah it's well not i noticed expensive. it's more more involved too than just keeping a photo album yeah it's not expensive too i, I can see that it's really a hobby because yeah. um you know you have to make all this yourself but it's like a lot of fun and it, it's something that'll uh yeah. you know take up some time and you want that with yeah. a hobby you want a hobby to amuse yourself yeah and like entertain you yeah right it entertains you well that's that's a little something on scrapbooking and sports card collecting Right now, I'd like to do what I do here in the Dr. Magic Show. You know what that is? Yes, magic. That's right. <laughs> uh, this is a 50-cent piece, also known as a half dollar. Yep. And I'm going to do some magic with it. I need you to say the magic words, though. Dr. Magic. Yeah, uh, You know what that does to the 50-cent piece? No, I do not. turns it into a dollar coin. That is the American dollar coin now. It's, they used to have bigger silver dollars. Now they look like this. So I just doubled my money Isn't from 50 cents. Isn't it called cent. like a gold coin too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just doubled my money from 50 cents to a dollar. Yeah. Hey, right now, we're going to see what's in the video vault. Steve. Hey, hey Dr. Magic. Hey. Welcome back to the clubhouse. Well, thank you. I always enjoy visiting you here at the clubhouse. Love having you back over here. You brought your TV friends back? Yep, all my TV friends are here with me to see you. I'm glad. Y'all come on in. Make yourself at home. What's this? That's my fish flipper, Dr. Magic. I didn't know you had a fish. Yeah, I, uh, I caught him a couple of weeks ago out in the Gulf on 30-pound test. <laughs> okay, you caught flipper. Yeah. Okay, um... Great. I got a trick that I, I can do with my fish because I was reading after that time we did reading on the mm -hmm. show. Yeah, reading's good for you. I read a book about hypnotizing and it said that things that have strong brains can hypnotize things that have weak brains. So you can hypnotize Flipper. I should be able to because I think I have a strong brain. And you could control him with the power of your mind. Yes, so I can. Have I got that straight? Okay. You have it straight. I'm going to... I'm going to think hard and make him do flips and jump up out the, the thing and it'll freak you out. So you're going to totally control Flipper's I, mind. I sure will. Yeah, this will be interesting to see. Give me a give me a few minutes. I have to concentrate hard. Okay. <laughs> Is it doing it? No, he's just one. <laughs> he's a big ignoring you. Okay. Give me another try. Okay. You have to do the power. Control Flipper with your mind.
every time. California, here I go! Buckle up so you and your friends get home safely. I must scream into the world from the top of some place very high. Seatbelts save lives. Okay. Visit NHTSA.gov. Low and slow. <laughs> My best friend, what are you going to do? Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Ad Council. That is spectacular advice. We were in an emergency situation. We don't have extra. We have a little bit of water and a little bit of food. A meeting no. place, no. No. I don't think we have a first aid kit. We have tuna fish. We have right. beans. We so. have um, um, canned beans. tomatoes, true. you know. That's true, but uh, that's really not survival food. Tomato we, paste. Yeah, well, oh. yeah. Well, we hope you enjoyed that look into our video vault. Always something interesting in the vault. Yep. Before we continue talking about hobbies, which is what we're talking about on today's show, I thought I'd do a magic trick. Sure. Okay. I've got two red balls here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of the red balls in my hand. Okay. And I want you to hold this other red ball real tight like I'm holding this one. Squeeze hard. Turn your hand over. Okay, now watch this. I'm going to go like this. Do you feel anything when I do that? Mm-mm. I didn't feel anything either, but the red ball in my hand disappeared. Open your hand. <laughs> what do you think of that? That was awesome. <laughs> I thought so too. That surprised me even. Yeah. Right now, you know what we're going to do? What? See what Paige is up to. Here's Paige. Hey guys, it's Paige, and today we're going to make a container to fit your hobby supplies. I made mine out of a jar, but you can make yours out of any container that will best fit your hobby supplies. To do this craft, you will need construction paper, container of your choice, scissors, glue, pencil and marker, ruler, damp rag, ribbon, pre-cut letters, jewels, buttons, or anything that you would like to glue to your container. Cut your construction paper to fit the container you are using by tracing around the container. Cut a little wider than what you traced. Glue the construction paper to the container. Measure the ribbon by putting it around the opening of your jar. Cut and glue it down. Add more color by adding a different ribbon on top of your wider ribbon. Wipe the extra glue off with your damp rag. Add lettering by gluing, drawing, or using peel and stick letters like I have. For example, I put my initials on my jar. Glue buttons and stars anywhere you like. Watch that your colors work well together. For example, red stars won't show up well on red paper. Use some pom-poms to decorate and add more stars and buttons if you like. Watch that you allow your glue to dry before using your container. I put colored pencils in my container because I like to draw. You can put paintbrushes, markers, crayons, colored pencils, anything you do with your hobby because it's all yours. I'll see you next time on Paige's Craft Corner. Now it's time for everybody's favorite clown, M.T. Noggin. Ah, oh, there he is. Hmm. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, there's one. Oh, hi, kids. Sorry, I'm out doing my favorite hobby with my dog, Dixie. We're out bird watching. Right, Dix? Boy, there's all kinds of birds. You like them, too. You don't even have to go far for this hobby. It's as close as your backyard. Sometimes you can do them from inside the house. Put out a nice bird feeder. You can see all kinds of birds. Anybody know what a cardinal looks like? It's red, kind of like the color of my hair. Then of course there's blue jays, except they always sound so happy. I don't know why they call them blue jays. Interesting. 
and you have sparrows, you have uh, robins, rock and robin, tweet, tweet, tweet. You want to learn more about birds? Go to the library. Pick out a nice book on birds just like so. They'll help you or buy one and as you see a new bird, check it off on your list. There's thousands you can see. Everything from birds of prey to ducks and geese. Quack, 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 quack. Well, let me get... Oh, wait a minute. There's a bird there. Shh. Let me see if I can see it. Oh, pretty. I'll catch you later, kids. Have a great time birding. Radish. Is that for horses? Remember me, Mr. Lobster? From last Tuesday? Banana. 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 Here comes the rain. We need a hat. <laughs> and why do we need a hat? Hmm? It's a giant. That's right. When you talk with your child, you build vocabulary. And learning starts long before school does. For more tips, go to bornlearning.org. It's easy to tell if you've had way too many. But what if you've had just one too many? Buzz driving is drunk driving. Every trip. Every time. Buckle up, so you and your friends get home safely. I must scream into the world from the top of some place very high. Seatbelts save lives. Okay. Visit NHTSA.gov. Low and slow. <laughs> Best friend, what are you going to do? Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Ad Council. That is spectacular advice. Welcome back to the Dr. Magic Show and our look at hobbies on today's show. Uh, right now we're going to discuss two more hobbies, sure. and I guess you can guess what they are. Because right in front of us is a model train, uh, also known as an electric train, because the train tracks are electrified and it makes the train go around. But now all model trains do not have to be electric trains. Yep. Okay. This is a big hobby. Many a boy throughout the United States and actually throughout the world has had an electric train at some time in their life. <laughs> and you can keep it simple with just the train that you know you get with a train set, or you can really go wild with the hobby and have like a big display. Hey, here's another hobby that can kind of be part of the train hobby if you want it to be, collecting miniatures. And um, how it gets to be a hobby rather than just you know buying the miniatures, yeah. you can actually paint them. And there's all different kinds of miniatures. This is a cowboy, and you could I have soldiers or you know what these guys are, huh? Yeah, there's baseball players. Baseball players, like that's a catcher right there. Mm -hmm. Hey, right now I'm going to do my thing. You know what my thing is? Magic. That's right, that's my thing. <laughs> I've got two ropes here. I've got a red one and a blue one. I want you to take the red one, okay? And what I'd like you to do is this. I'd like you to tie a knot in the end of the rope like that. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. All right. See, like that. Look at mine. Very good, very good. Okay? Yeah. All right, now I'm going to need you to say the magic words. You know what the magic words are? Mm-hmm. Dr. Magic. Watch this. You're not going to believe this. Watch it. Throw the ropes in the air, and now they are linked together. Look at this. Look at wow. this. Wow. Should I not them? No, they're rope. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Well, you know what we're going to do right now, huh? What? We're going to go see what Paige is up to. Here's Paige. Hey guys, it's time for Did You Know? And today we're going to talk all about hobbies. Did you know? King Henry I in the 12th century raised small horses called hobby horses. This is why activities done in your spare time are called hobbies. Did you know? Stamp collecting is a popular hobby. The misprinted or defective stamps many times are the most valuable ones. Did you know? Falconry is a hobby of raising birds of prey, 
like eagles and hawks, for example. This hobby goes all the way back to the 1500s. Did you know? To show it to you, I must show you my hands and this red handkerchief. Now, if you watch very carefully, you might see the magic ball. Are you ready? One, two, three. Well, look. There it is. Now, you may be wondering, why is this a magic ball? I'll tell you. It bounces. Nothing magic about that. But it does something else very strange. If I push it in the center of the handkerchief like that, look, it sticks. In fact, it really sticks. <laughs> Can you see why it sticks clear through the hanky? It's amazing. Very amazing. Now watch carefully. You might see it roll right off the edge of the handkerchief just like that. Strange, isn't it? That's why I call it a magic ball. Here we go. There's another thing that it will do. Are you watching carefully? Here's what it does. If I take the magic ball, wrap it up in a red handkerchief like this. There we go. Wrap it up very tightly and then squeeze away. Why, when I'm all done, the magic ball has disappeared. It's just that simple. Of course, it couldn't have happened if it wasn't a magic ball because, as we know, magic is something that surprises our eyes. <laughs> and that certainly surprised mine. I hope it surprised yours as well. Well, we hope you enjoyed watching Dwayne Laughlin. He's one of my favorite magicians. What are you doing, Victoria? I'm bird watching. Ah, bird watching. That's one of your hobbies. Huh? <laughs> hey, uh, you know what my hobby is? Magic. Magic, that's right. And these are magic props. These are magic props for amateurs. Uh, this is not professional magic props like I use, but you can get these at a lot of places, and that's what's cool, especially if you want to do magic as a hobby. You can get these at toy stores, discount stores like dollar stores, novelty stores, and there's still a few magic shops around the country where you can get stuff like this. Well, I hope you enjoyed our look at hobbies on today's Dr. Magic show, and I hope you'll watch us next time. For my co-star, the lovely and talented Victoria, this is Dr. Magic, and we're wishing that every day of your life was magical. Bye-bye, everybody. are long. <laughs> Do they go on my head? Do they? Do the pants go on my head? <laughs> no. They go on Everyday head. moments can become teaching moments because learning starts long before school does. Give your child the start they need at bornlearning.org. We were in an emergency situation. We don't have extra. We have a little bit of water and a little bit of food. A meeting no. place, no. No. I don't think we have a first aid kit. We have tuna fish. We have right. beans. We so. have um, um, canned tomatoes, true. you know. That's true, but uh, that's really not survival food. Tomato we, paste. Yeah, well, oh. yeah. I, tell if you've had way too many but what if you've had just one too many buzz driving is drunk driving